now? Ah, why are you running? If uh, Tamayas have scrambled for food on your face, what is wrong? All is not well, oh. Ah. <laughs> if all is not well, that means that you are sick. Eh? 
No wonder your face has turned into a nightmare. As for me, all is well in my household. That is not what I mean. Okay, what do you mean? Look, Solomon, your friend, has taken my wife. And since you occupy a big position in St. Luke's Catholic Church, or Tampa, I have come to report the matter to you. Solomon, how did he do it? Did he force your wife out of your house, or did he take her away from your bedroom? I don't know exactly how he did it, oh. All I know is that she has run to him. Oh, 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 she ran to him. <laughs> that means that his machine gun is better than your own. It's either you are weak or you don't know how to do it. Let me tell you, not all men who carry a cross spout know how to do it. Some men are not men simply because they are parading a cross sprout. Catkist, mm -mm. are you the one saying this? Ah, uh, Catkist Titus is broadcasting to you that not all cutlasses you take to farm can cut very deeply. Some bushes are too strong for weak cutlasses, just like you. Me? <laughs> Let me tell you, eh? your wife must have noticed that you have a weak cutlass, so she ran away from you. That's why she ran to a beehive that has the honey she deserves. Are you saying that I, Obuku, am weak in bed? You don't need Father John to tell you that. Eh? Not all men are men. Some of you men always give premature ejaculation, even when the football has not started. Eh? You can't dribble. You only score through penalty, even with help. Ubiku, let me advise. Next time you bring a woman, take her to my house. Let me give you entertaining football and then make you a spectator. <laughs> this is too much. I'm not listening to this anymore. Ubiku, there is the truth chasing you away. <laughs> okay. okay. King Solomon the Great Title the King Disciple. Solomon the Great <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. You see, right. there's no difference between King Solomon in the Bible and I because we put like women <laughs> Are you sure you can beat his record? I must surely beat his record King Solomon in the Bible had 700 wives and 300 concubines. I will have 1,000 wives and 2,000 concubines. <laughs> so, look at this. Okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, all these cats, kids. What is the right name? Money, money, money. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Oh, thank you, thank you, Titus. <clears throat> you see, Titus. But I am not going to allow any of them to send me to my early graves. Uh, just like uh, Queen Sheba did to King Solomon. You see, Queen Sheba finished King Solomon. Drained his nutrient. Then, forcefully retired him without uh, pension. Do you think you have more strength than King Solomon? I think my strength is even greater than his own. And if I don't... I am going to use my tactics and number six to beat his own record, just like I did this afternoon. What, what, what happened? Eh? I acquired a new commodity. Otamba. <laughs> Otamba. <laughs> She's not Otamba. Uh, Her name is Mukosolo, the wife of Obiuku. Oh! <laughs> Was that why he came here? <laughs> Obiuku came here because of that. You don't mean it. And I dressed him down. You are my good friend. I knocked him out. That is it, Titus. Trust me now. <laughs> you see, by the time I met her in uh -huh. she wanted to become Queen Sheba in my life. And when the other women came, I had to give them her taco. I'm telling you. You see, Titus, uh -huh. the toad likes 
but not when the water is hot. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, so, see what you know. You, you seem to have more wisdom than Solomon of the Bible. No? He can say that. He yes. <laughs> because he didn't even realize when Queen Sheba neutralized his wisdom with his beautiful looks and conjugal expertise. <laughs> but in your own case, you noticed before, before it was late. <laughs> But you see, these our African women, they are too much. Yeah, yeah. You see, yeah. that woman from Ethiopia, Queen hmm, Sheba, yeah. he gave King Solomon a pin for. And by the time he knew it, he has started speaking in tongues. Ooh, yeah. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. That's okay, eh? There are many beautiful women in your household, and I'm jealous. I, I, I want to acquire such commodities. How do I go about it? Eh? Cut off your wife. Oh, she went to back her place with my children. Oh, so that's why I have time to do this kind of uh, <laughs> to, uh, account balance. Uh, <laughs> See, Titus, uh, I am going to teach you. Yes, please, 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 please. But Titus. You are going to pay me big money. Uh, money wouldn't be a problem. We shall discuss that. But come to think of it, Titus. Do you really need this? Because you are a cat kiss. Forget about that one. Uh, 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 let, let me tell you. What is good for the goose is equally good for the gander. You are right. <laughs> I mean, in this life, one should be able to eat a bushy pear, vegetable over there, uh, or bono over there. It makes life easy. Yes, there should be variety. Yeah. You are right, Titus. Yeah. <laughs> Go, Titus. <clears throat> That's this new commodity that I want to acquire. Okay, okay. But each time she sees me, she runs. Oh, oh. It even happened today. Oh. Was that what happened earlier in the day? Yes, that is it. Ure. Ah! <laughs> Ure. See, the one that gives me sleepless night is Janessa. Janessa makes me run mad. But each time I see her, eh, my rod stands at attention, just like boys' brigade or, or even uh, the road traffic warden. Or the scouts. <laughs> or the scouts. <laughs> you see, Titus, your own is better. Uh, my own is that. The whole of my body, my stick, my body goes into convulsion each time I see her. And each time I try, she will always resist me. Atamba. Especially my mbruyaya. What, what, what is mbruyaya? Mbruyaya? <laughs> mbruyaya, <laughs> it is what I tell them. And when I tell them, you see them, they will keep marching and following me. <laughs> Okay, that may even be why God has kept Chinasa for me, so that you can come and give me a secret to get her. <laughs> so now, each time before I talk to her, I say, Mbruyaya. Hey, 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 Titus, you are going to pay me for that. <laughs> Definitely, I will pay you. You will pay me. No, no, once I've got the secret, money will not be, will not, will not be a problem. No, no, eh? no, 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 you will pay me for the okay, secret. No. I will do everything, provided I use Mbruyaya. Hey, eh? be careful the way you use that Chinasa, here I come. <laughs> I've caught you. Hey, <laughs> Gingine. <laughs> uh, I just help you put this in this account. Because uh, this, he, this figure is giving me problems. Hey, but I'm not just a member say. of your church. Huh? I said, leave my house. Leave me, stop pushing me. Leave me. No, 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 no. Uh, what is it? Leave I see your business. I'm married to Solomon. You see your business. Go ahead. I see your business. Oh, go. Marry Solomon, eh? But leave my house. You are in this. I will go. I will go. I will go into your house. I will go. Holy way, Jeff. Holy way, Jeff. Leave me. Leave me. Leave me. Leave me. What is this? What is this? Eh? I don't want to see this one in my house. She says she doesn't want to see you again. I will go. I will go. Go, 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 go. Leave me. I will go. Leave me. Go. 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 Take her away, don't let her come back here. Stop me, go. Go. Stop me. Go away. Leave me. Go, 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 go. Stop me. Go. Stop me. Go. Let me see you here again. 
useless woman. My God. Talking to her about Solomon, and she just fled up. Mama, so she has run to Solomon to become one of his concubines. I tried to caution her. I didn't know that my friend Eunice could send Solo to join Solomon's harem. What? What does he give to them that make them flock around him like that? Chinasa does not know. You know, Mama, what baffles me is that. All those women are beautiful. Sometimes I get afraid. Why do you get afraid? I get afraid because of you. You know you're beautiful and you're still looking young. What are you driving at? He might see you and then... I don't know why. I, I don't know how he does it, Mama. You must be drunk to have even thought about that in the first place. That means you do not know who your mother is. I know, Mama, but that man you is... You don't know anything. That your father married me early. Yet, I was more mature than most married women. Because he died untimely, I should now throw away the respect I have earned. Something must be wrong with you. I... I'm sorry to have upset you, Mama. You had better be. What message did you bring? Uh -huh. The bank says I should wait until after the merger. They will send me the appointment letter due. I, I think I should go to Lagos and stay with Uncle Nick. And then maybe wait until... Chidubem, you are not going anywhere. Have you forgotten what I told you about Nicholas? Must you disregard your father's instructions because he is dead? Chidubem. Well, in that case, I... I have to stay back until everything is through. If Cosmic Communications calls me, I'll go. Are you happy now? You must be starving. Precisely. Your food is on the table. That's my mommy. Mama the mama. Solomon, all these things are becoming embarrassing. Grace, what is becoming embarrassing? The way you're taking other men's wives and daughters. Come, do I force them? I ask you, do I force them? Look, Grace, you should count yourself lucky that you are my first wife and I paid your bride price with my money. Isn't that what a man supposed to do? That was then. If it were now, you would have paid your own bride price by yourself. Fear that. I reject it. Are you not in this house? Most of these women, they brought their bride price for me. Yes! And some come to me free of charge. FOC in short. Look, woman. <laughs> some of them even paid for my old groom price. Yes! Solomon, what are they getting from you? Remember that there are people working for you. They are getting nothing. Chris, what is wrong for a man to answer a miracle? I want born to suffer. Look, if every man is born to suffer, I, King Solomon of Atanta, I am not born to suffer. I am born to enjoy myself. I know your problem. Your problem is jealousy. Look at you. And look at me. I am looking fresher every day. I am looking much younger every day. I know you. Look at where you are sitting. Hey, 24 hours you are here. Other women have gone to farm. Some have gone to office. Some have gone to teaching. But you are here. You are here doing nothing. Grace, pray that war doesn't break out. If not, they will watch you before you run. Solomon, when has my problem become your concern? Solomon, tell me. 
When was the last time you gave me money to clothe myself? When was the last time, Solomon, you gave me money to feed myself? When was the last time you gave me money to care for my children, Solomon? When? Solomon, it's not for my children. You would have drunk poison and die, or you run away. You can still do it now, because it's not too late. Look, Grace, don't disturb me. I am going hunting for new commodities because you are an old commodity. <laughs> you see, those women are not complaining because I give them what other men cannot give them and they cannot give it to them. One woman's glass cutter is another woman's enemy. If you agree to marry me, I will chase all the other women to Iraq and they will never come back. I love you, Chinasa. I want to marry you. So long. Oh, my honey, Chinasa. So long. Oh, my love. What do you want us to do? Oh, I want to marry you. And I will drive everybody away. Let's go my love. I want to be your wife. My sweet woman you are. I will build a flat for you. I will put swimming pool in it. And anytime you can go back and start taking your bath in me. I love you so much. I love you. Thank you very much. You are the only love I have. Oh, I've missed you. Oh my God. Oh. My coachiness. I've been longing to see you. I've been 
longing to marry you. Thank you. I will do everything for you. Lord of Jesus! Ah! Lord of Jesus! My sugar, I love you. Son! Lord of Jesus! Lord of Jesus! I love you. I bind you! Lord of Jesus! Did you touch me? Solomon, you touch me! With love. My God! Back to Sega! I tell you! I send you to the abyss! I love you! My God! Oh God! He touched me! Solomon touched me! I reject it in use of me! I reject it in use of me! Oh God! Evil man! Devil! Incarnate! He shall not be well with you! I bind you! And I cast you into the abyss! In Jesus' name! Amen! For this deliverance, my father in heaven, I bind him, I cast him. Hey, King Solo, Mansa. Yes, my boy. Aye. Prof, Prof. Mansa. Solomon. Prof Solomon, I greet you. No, I salute you. Why look at Solomon? Why look you so disheartened, disenchanted, and abashed? As if you are in a state of disequilibrium. Prof, I have saluted you. Let me be going home before you make me have earthquake today. I was only asking why you're looking so unhappy. Prof, you are really a doctor of the face and mind. One woman just disappointed me. Have I not warned you to extinguish your high libido and suppress your quest for gross polygamy so that you don't be a courier of acquired immune deficiencies in you? That is if you don't have the HIV one already. Why do you want to spread HIV and AIDS all over the place? Me, Solomon? Prof, I don't spread HIV or AIDS because I am not carrying it. Don't you know that HIV and other sexually transmitted diseases could be locking and pervading your home? Solomon, why do you want to destroy and set ablaze this micro society of ours with your unbridled and unchecked liberty? Why do you want to destroy the society of ours? Solomon, why? Prof, your time has passed. What insolence, what impudence. Western generation. Western generation. Western generation. Balancing the account of the church, that's why I was not able to make it to Mba. Mm -hmm. eh? <laughs> but if I had come to that Mba, eh, your people would have known that Titus came around. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, how is the five month old son of your brother? He's not growing as I saw him. Yes, sir. Does his wife give him breast milk as recommended by the Federal Minister of Health? Yes, she does, but I don't know what is wrong. Then something must be wrong with that breast milk. Let me tell you, not all breast milk that is nutritious. Hey, yeah. Papa Antonia, breast milk is breast milk. I disagree. Let me tell you, eh? this kunu made by Hausa women is more nutritious than breast milk. Mm -mm. No. Even soy milk is better. Some breast milk are fake. Women should be able to go to NAVDAC and register. NAVDAC must examine their breast milk before they give them number. If you don't do it that way, the, the breast milk can be like fit drugs. Papa Antonia, do you know what you're talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me tell you. Some breast milk have become poisonous because of the kind of treatment these breasts are subjected to. Hmm. Eh? Yet the milk that comes from such breasts is given to children as both food and drug. Eh? 
Some women do cosmetic surgery on their breasts by putting plastic and drug into them. They even wear this uh, chemical bra that pushes their breasts up as if the breasts are running 100 meters. Eh? Tell your brother to take his wife to NAVDAC. Let them examine her breast milk before giving her NAVDAC number. I tell you, you go Chuku, our son will not be allowed to marry any daughter-in-law who hasn't got her breast milk registered. <laughs> no, I'm serious about it because what these girls are doing is very terrible. Imagine they even throw what is called tattoo on their breasts. On their breasts you see things like a spider, a snake, a scorpion, and very frightening animals. When children see such things, they get frightened. And begin to dance kokoma. But today you are now at the sort and be to it too. Okay, it is even deliberate. <laughs> because what these girls are doing throws me off. These tattoos they carry on their breasts have made them become part of what is called Antichrist. By carrying this mark of the beast on their breasts, all in the name of tattoo. Eh? No, I'm not talking about it. Let's begin to move before we we are late. <laughs> So, that is what he does. He keeps disturbing me. So, for how long has this been going on? Since I came back from the National Youth Service. Since you came back from service? Mm. And you never bothered to tell me about it. I'm sorry. I thought I could handle it myself. But when I learned that if he talks to you and you reply him, definitely you have become his. So, each time I see him, I run. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me he has some diabolical means that he gets women with? <laughs> I don't know, but I think so. What if you fall while running and something happens to you? And that is why I have told you. Because I can't bear it anymore, honestly. I really do not believe in superstitions, you know. Neither do I. But then I... I believe the devil has parts. So whenever you come across that man, or each time you see him, just say, Lord of Jesus. He will have no effect on you. And then, always remember to pray each morning before you leave the house. Okay. Right? Japan, oh, you've lifted my spirit. Thank you. Thanks. I should be on my way now. Okay. My regards to your mother when she wakes up from sleep. I will. And take very good care of yourself. I will. Let me walk you down. Yeah. Don't mind them. Very soon we're going to leave this village. Let me know when he will see you and begin to run after you like a dog on heat. Oh. So how was your day? It was fine. And yes. Nice, nice. We thank God yeah. for his mercies. All right. Let me not spread you this part. It's okay. Okay. Take care of yourself. You too. See you much later. All right. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
I've just come to extend my sincere greetings to the number one catechist of our ecclesiastical province. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Come and join me. Thank you very me. much for the conviviality and friendliness. I have immune my digestive system to selective uh, absorption so that I watch what I eat so that I will be in homeostasis, a state of equilibrium. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Your grandma always sounds kadum kadum. Tibos of wood. Kill them, kill them. <laughs> Even like cannon gun shots. <laughs> I was only trying to say I watch what I eat so that I will always be in good health. Okay, okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. Sorry for the disturbance. I've just come to ask if you have yesterday's daily bulletin of the print and mass media of the journalistic ethos. Huh? Good. Uh, sorry, I uh, take it easy. Take some water, take some water. Huh? Yes. Good day, sir. How are you? Good day. Fine, sir. Uh, it's Very nothing. Nice. <coughs> uh, 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 prof, <coughs> yes. do you mean mass bulletin? No. Uh, because they are in the parish office, not, not in the house. They're I not... don't mean your mass bulletin. I need, I mean some newspaper. Okay. <laughs> well, newspapers? I don't have any in the house. Then I will take my leave. Okay. Uh, okay. You see, I listened to the radio and had some very disturbing news. I think as politicians should be subjected to the Freudian psychology of psychoanalysis mm. because they don't know what they are doing. Mm. They need clinical psychologists to examine their medulla oblongata mm. to know if uh, their senses are really working or they are just uh, in the state of par excellence. Uh, 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 I think uh, I had politicians. I had to say politician, so I think I know where you're coming from now. Yes. You see, our legislators of the national and uh, state assemblies have turned the chambers into uh, theaters of absurd. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, sorry. Drink some water. Please, take some water. <coughs> what is it? Sorry, take some water. <coughs> Yes. What did you do to my husband? Nothing. I was just sharing some of my bitterness with him. And, uh, catechist. Uh, sorry. Uh, I set my unreserved uh, apology. Uh, I take my leave. So nothing was actually happening. You were almost damaging my brain. Huh? Hey! <coughs> Are you true with the fruit? No, leave it. You can go. Okay. Now the prof has gone. Let me continue eating. Okay. Yeah, leave it. Hey. Hey. Some heads should be examined. Some people can be mentally unbalanced, and you think they are blowing grammar. Huh? Which one is journalistic ethos? Eh? Uh, eh? Uh, and the other one is a uh, homeostasis state of equilibrium. Eh? Inuendic inuendo. Eh? O bakaish krokoto. Commotion iniquity. Psycho. Analysis. <laughs> Even psychiatric UNTH. <laughs> so that problem should be examined. Even by an abduct because <laughs> let's find out if he has an abduct number to pitch that for <laughs> Who 
one. Yes, what can the king do for you? Good evening. There's nothing good about the evening, so I can't answer that greeting. Okay, I've come to see you. To see me? For what? Do I owe you? Do you know me? What nonsense question is that? Huh? Look, my friend, if you have come here to try what David did to Goliath, then you will die before you pick a stone. No wonder you were aiming when you saw me today. Now listen. I have tried to respect you, but I can see you don't deserve it in the least. So I warn you, if you disturb Ure, my fiancé, again, you will see what I'll do to you. Hey, wait! Respect yourself! What, what did I hear you say that Ure is to you? She's the girl I want to marry. Stay away from her. My friend, will you just shut up your mouth? What? Shut up that rotten mouth of yours! Look at a small boy like you with little Johnny to overthrow me, King Solomon, over a beauty queen. Don't you know what a small boy like you deserve? I have not come here to engage in foolish talks. You are the one that is foolish. I can see you wearing foolishness on you. Now get out of my compound. I said get out of my compound now! My friend, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Don't, don't touch me again! I said get out of my compound! This is just a warning. Chairman of the parish council has tried to reconcile his accounts with yours, but it has refused to balance. I asked Mr. Toby to send for you, but after waiting for you for hours, I said to calm myself because the matter is very urgent. Father, what is urgent about it? Father Paul of the uh -huh. bishop secretary is coming to the parish a day after tomorrow to collect the accounts and other books for the bishop's Perusa. And he said that there are some monies with you which have never refunded to the church and accounted for them. Hold it, please, hold it. Is Mr. Mwakama accusing me of embezzling church money? Um, eh? There has been a rumor like that. Uh, uh, like father, that. Father, and you believed the rumor? No. This is a case of the kettle calling the pot black. But I'm even surprised that you came here to accuse me of my account not being, being balanced. Look, if I eat money, you are equally guilty. Oh, you, you want to deny it? I bet you are part of that beef. Don't you know that I'm a priest? No, 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 no. We do respect father. You should have found a way to cover these tracks instead of coming here to accuse me. Eh? Now, for how much did I steal? But you stole so much! Oh, don't you know that I know that you are building a mansion in your father's compound? Yes! If not that we are partners in crime, I would have invited the EFC to, to, to come and prove the account of the church. Yes! The church money is public money. So I can eat and you, you can eat. Sort of coming here to accuse me. Catkiss, uh, it has not gotten to this. No, 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 Father, it has gotten to that. 
I must tell Father Paul to arrest and probe you like they arrested and probed some governors and got them convicted. And it will go into history that the Reverend Father was once arrested. Bless you. Look at Keith, he has not gotten to that. He has gotten to that. I, can, I think I can still think of something. I can still do something. Oh. But it's just that sometimes I'm confused. Can't be so confused. Now you are talking. Don't get confused. Think clearly. And find a way to cover this ditch so that nobody can know where water entered the pumpkin fruit. Eh? The Wakama you talked about. I know Mr. Wakama very well. Let me tell you, if Mwakama succeeds in removing me as a cat kissed, I don't bother. But father, if you want to avoid the EFCC, then do something about Mr. Mwakama. Because if I go, you will go. Are you trying to blackmail me? No. This is not blackmail though. It's only white mail. But let me tell you, a teaching time saves nine. you to instigate some members of the parish council so that they can write petitions against Mr. Wakama. With that, I will nail him. I will remove him democratically either by declaration or proclamation. Father, EGM, <laughs> EGM, <laughs> you have nailed him. You are a real evil genius. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Katkis, you know that sometimes these things are in it. You use them when the need arises. Let me ask Father. Why don't you enter politics and become a master strategist? <laughs> huh? I've been thinking about it. And uh, I know that a Reverend Father was once the governor of a state. I know about I'm still thinking about that. And when I make my declaration, I'll make you my campaign manager. I know what you can do. Be a wonderful partnership. <laughs> and we shall continue to divert public funds. <laughs> Katkis. Yes. I have to take my leave. Okay. okay. But like I've said, Make sure that those petitions are written and I will nail Wakama. God, I will not rest on my words. <laughs> See what money can make a man do. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Whoa. Yeah. See what money make men to do. Yeah. Whoa. Something strange about Solomon. If not for the precious blood of Jesus, I would have been in his house now. What? <laughs> that could only happen in a dream. Gentlemen, you have not understood what I'm saying. I said I was actually following him. What? Mama, what did you say? You did what? Mama! Don't just get yourself up. Oh? I just shouted, Lord of Jesus, Lord of Jesus. And I realized myself. Then I rebuked him 
rebuked him. He just, he just walked away like a zombie. That means that man is evil. Oh, he wants to take my fiancée. That is not enough. Now he also wants to take my mother, eh? Of course you know that is not possible. But he almost did, Mama. I mean, what if he had succeeded? Mama, I want to get down the road to get something. I'll be back before you know it. Oh, no. You're not going anywhere. Mama, let me go to the shop and get something out. Chidu, Ben, I know you're not going to get anything from any shop. Mama, hold this for me. Let me just get something. I'll be back before you know it. Oh, no. Okay, okay, hold this. Chidu, Ben, please. Mama, leave me alone! Ben. My peace. Uh, all you people will kill me with love. Why not allow me to eat? Yeah? Ah, ah. Mm. Is it tasty? Mm. No. Very delicious. Mm. Question or a statement? Ask me! Ah, who is your mother? When did Ura become your mother? Solomon. What did you do to Tinasa, my mother? Oh. Oh. Tinasa, my rising soul. How dare you? What is wrong with you? Will you shut up your mouth? Hey! If you touch any of my prince, I will never get this apple on your face. I will put this panda because of her on your face. Oh. You still have mouth to talk here? Yeah? In my cup, okay. I will kill you. In my cup, I has made the face of the most vicious woman in Otan to be so sad and gloomy. What is the matter? Welcome, bro. It's nothing. It's nothing and you are releasing these showers of rain from your eyes. What is it? Tell me. Whoever must have caused this most respectable woman pain must be very perilous and dangerous. A sadist. I'm, I'm just remembering my husband. Oh, Hilary? Oh, take heart. 
the demise of your husband is still painful to us. But you see, death is a very necessary end. That's why he died. But you see, why I respect you. Even though Hillary died three years ago, he joined his ancestors. You have respected yourself as a widow. You are still young because you had an adolescent marriage. But you have not joined some of these women in their clandestine activities, believing that nobody sees them. They forget that prof is always on the prowl. Nobody bears sorrow better. The revolutionary leader. Why did you leave your mother to be tormented intuitively as a result of loneliness? I was with her, Prof. I just went out shortly. When I was just passing when I felt that something was wrong. So I came in to find her in this state of melancholy. Thank you, Prof. Well, that is the power of parapsychology. Hey! <laughs> Bro, you are too much. You know everything. Well, thank you. I'll take my leave. Good night. Good night, bro. Good night. Hmm? I know you went to Solomon's house. <laughs> I have taught him a lesson. Mama, see. I'm sorry to have hurt you, Mama. I'm really sorry. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Mama. You have to go to the bank tomorrow. You know we need to send some money to Nambin School. My son. I miss my school. Mm. Uh, maybe you should go and bring him back from school. <laughs> okay, you know what, Mama? Why don't we pay him a visit in school? If that will make you happy. <laughs> Mama, please, let's go to bed. It's late. Well, why should I be disgraced out of office? Mwakama, you know there are many backbiters in this uh, parish. St. Luke's Catholic Church, Otampa. If I had known earlier, I would have advised you to be very careful. Those who wrote the petitions against you are those who have been very close to you. What is making me angrier is Father John's position on the matter. No, leave Father John out of this. See, if the parishioners had written this petition, and sent to the bishop, the consequences would have been graver. The most annoying part of the whole thing is that I was removed because of allegations of high-handedness, incompetence, and mismanagement of church funds. But God knows I am innocent. <laughs> you have failed to realize one thing. The cockroach cannot be innocent in the garden of fowls. It's not possible. See, I have refused to drag myself into the politics of this parish for obvious reasons. Yeah? But the truth of the matter is that you left yourself too bare. Too bare? Yes. I don't understand. You see, the fact that a man carries two big balls between his legs, it does not mean he can play football very well. No. You are intelligent quite all right. But the irony is that your intelligence failed you. Yes. You've been accused of maladministration, malincompetence, mal embezzlement, and mal whatever. For a time, I begin to wonder if you came from Mali. <laughs> See, these offenses could have sent you to jail by 
EFCC, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. That's the truth of the matter. So, you have to fortify yourself. Fortification? Fortification. What do you mean? Wakama, eh? can I confide in you? Mm. Yes. All right. Do you think I've been cut kiss of this parish for many years? With empty hands? With bare hands? Those who serve in public offices and then in the church get their fortifications from somewhere. They use a charm called Onongono. That's stay where you are. That charm ensures that your position is intact day in, day out. Charm? Yes! Christians? It's like that everywhere. Even some of these pastors pay their tribute to these deities and shrines so they can perform miracles. God forbid. God forbid what? Just because God has created everything and knows about everything you're saying, God forbid. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> so, Titus, you are involved. So, Titus, you are one of them. Titus, you are truly not a Christian. Okay. You who are truly a Christian, where are you? What has happened to you? Titus, I will expose you. I thought I could confide in you. Yes. Huh? Now let me warn you. If you dare expose me, I'll make you a living corpse. Respect. Respect. When your corpse are full, all of you must be exposed. Hidden. Good afternoon, Cat Kiss. Good afternoon, how are you? Fine, Cat Kiss. <laughs> okay. Um, have you paid for your AMC card for confession this year? No, Cat Kiss, but I'll do that on Saturday. Okay, okay. Uh, where are you going? I'm going to Amuta. Okay. Okay, I'm going to HLA. Okay. It's a different direction, quite all right, but um, I can drop you on the way. Oh, thank you very much, Cat Kiss. My son has gone to get a cyclist. I'm sure they'll be on their way now. A what? Cyclist? Yes. Nah. <laughs> See, if not for the wickedness of your late husband's brother, you should have been riding the car left behind. You deserve a car. Mm -hmm. eh? It is well. Uh, I'll still drive the car when it is the will of God. Okay, I, I, I will work hard to make a car reach you in the near future. <laughs> oh, it's possible, it's possible. Thank you very much, God kiss. Thank okay. you. Okay. May Christ be with you. And also with you, God kiss. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Same I know. And since you're still waiting for appointment letter, oh my god. Who knows how long it will take? I don't know how long it will take, but I guess it won't be more than two months from now. And you become a banker? Of course. <laughs> well, I'll send my CV to my younger brother in Vegas to secure a job there. You know, so that both of us will be at the same place. What do you think? That's quite thoughtful of you. Mm. You know what? Distance affects relationships a lot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it seems he's afraid of you. I don't know. <laughs> See, I don't know. He's suspicious. <laughs> I don't know. Please, let me be on my way. I'll see you later. <laughs> trample on constitutionalism, disregarding the constitution. How can people be impeached in illegality? I am sick and tired of our democracy. How can our democracy be epitomized by thuggery, insecurity, sacrifice, lawlessness, dictatorship, and disobedience to the rule of law? No self-democracy. No self-democracy. No self-democracy. Bro. Good day, Prof. Good day, my young revolutionary leader. I've come to see how you're doing. Thank you. I want to report the political class to you. This country belongs to all of us. Do you know that? Our democracy is linked, is married, intertwined with corruption, money laundering, quadrimania, and conspicuous consumption. Some sacred cows are treated with impunity. Some people are punished, while some people are not. Assassination is reaching its climax. Is this democracy? What I, I think our democracy is still in process. Process? What nonsense process? If not for the economic strangulation, I would have bought Plato's Republic for all the political obscenities to read. Where are the philosophical kings that ruled the Greek city-states, especially Athens? But Prof, the constitution is there to guide us. The constitution? Which public office holder upholds the constitution he has sworn to uphold when they have changed the whole constitution to suit their intent and purposes and egocentric ambition? The lesser beings are being impeached while the demigods who are guilty of several impeachable offenses are there and as the Trojan horses that they are are manipulating and holding the whole polity and country captive. And nobody is doing anything about it. Nobody is saying anything about it. Prof, you are speaking with bitterness. Yes, I am bitter. I am bitter. Because there is tyranny in the whole country. There is tyranny in the whole nation. There is tyranny in the university. There is tyranny all, all over the place. Is it not because of my radical views I was dismissed vindictively from the university? The vice chancellor who dismissed me what is the fate of his future generation? They cannot stop me from airing my views. Psychophants, hypocrites, nincompoops, wasted generation. Take it easy, prof. Don't get worked up over nothing. Over nothing! Over nothing! Over nothing! Over nothing! Over nothing!
Emilia, yeah. are you back? Yeah. How do you do? I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay. So how was the meeting? It went well. Now you will give me the post of the treasure. <laughs> treasure? Yes. As small as you are? Why? Right. I may be small in your eyes, but you still give me the post. Now, sometimes when you call me small woman, I wonder why you married me in the first place. <laughs> Emilia. I married you so that it will be easy for me to carry you to bed. Eh? And I'm sure that when I want to put you in a position, you can cope very easily. But those women who are as fat as python, a here, eh? before they turn on the bed, you will travel to Eluama and come back to Akara. Yet they are still struggling to turn on the bed. <laughs> now, please keep the keep that your jokes for now. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh. hey. I saw Celine. Uh, she told me that Antonia gave her message to us. Message? Yes. I hope it's not money. Yeah, well, even if it's money, uh, thank God you are now a treasurer. <laughs> Meaning? <laughs> Meaning that you can take a loan for yourself from the church money when the need arises. Eh? Let me tell you, the post of a treasurer is the most beneficial in any organization. I will never touch any money that does not belong to me. Not even when it belongs to the church. <laughs> anyway, the message. Uh -huh. Antonia says she will not be coming home for holidays to a tank bath. She will be spending it with my brother in Calabar. Is that your plan? My plan. When you people came back from Mumba, your place, why didn't she tell me that before she traveled? No, I didn't plan anything with anybody. Even God can bear me witness. I did not plan anything with her. God has never come down to bear you witness. You are abusing the second commandment, which says that thou shalt not take the name of the Lord our God in vain. Anyway, is Yugochuku not coming back? Well, have you done the same plan with him? Plan? Uh -huh. No, I'm still talking about this plan of 18. I did not plan anything with anybody. Children of nowadays. In God I trust. I came to see how my late brother's wife is faring. I'm not doing badly. I don't have any problem. My poultry farm is doing wonderfully well. I came to see. So what? You came to do what? Eh? You came to do what, Uzoniki? When last did you enter this compound? How won't you be passing here? What have you come to do? You see, sometimes I remember you're my late brother's wife, and that is why. I don't need it. You see, a chameleon can never cease to change his colors. Uzadike, you are a very wicked man. And a wicked man you will ever remain. You, you thought I would never be able to stand when you possessed my husband's possessions. But you've forgotten that I am educated. With my education, I can get to any level. You wanted to sleep with me barely one month after my husband died. If you people have been sleeping with other widows in this community, it's over my dead body that any of you will come close to my body. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit of the living God. And nobody can defile it. Not even you. So get out of my compound. Why are you very stubborn, Chinasa? Is that what you came to do? Uzadike, is that what you came to do? If you don't leave this place now, I am going to show you that my God is a consuming fire. Fire will consume you. I am ready for all of you. Now get out. Chinasa, I can see you are once at the bed. After taking a heavy meal, challenges his cheat to wrestling bout. Okay, we shall see. You lie! We will not see anything! You cannot do me anything! We I will show you! Since Mokama is no longer the chairman of the Paris Council, I advise that you start coming to church again. But Father John is still the, uh, the parish priest. No, I will tell Father John to allow you to start coming. Uh, because it will be an avenue for you to repent by hearing sermons. Titus, or do it. 
No. Since I was chased out of this church for marrying many wives, if I come back here again, the people I took their daughters will revolt. They will not do anything as far as I am concerned. Hmm? Since Mwakama was removed, I have become the unofficial Paris Council chairman. Hey! Yes! Father John and I have become tighter in our friendship. See, I want you to realize this is your dream of beating King Solomon's records. <laughs> and now we have many women in this church. Your mission of acquiring as many of them as possible will be easier. Hey! Onuku! Edego! You are too much. <laughs> you are now the inventor like a scientist. <laughs> Titus Ukiwe, the new inventor of womanization. <laughs> but let me tell you, eh? once my children finish schooling, I will cease to be the catechist before they catch me stealing church money. <laughs> but my prayer will be that they don't transfer Father John because we are business partners. But you are the only holy oracle in this church. And you can manipulate Father John anyhow you want it. Yes. Father John is my marionette, a puppet to me. Eh? Do you know? I am making more money now than before. Ooh. Yes. So I can become an assistant catskis and start making money just like you do. Uh, let's not take church members for granted though. Do you know many of them go to native doctors too? Yeah, wait. Yes, but my charm is the highest in the parish. However, I want you to take me to that native doctor who did that um, talk I will follow for you. So that I will actually become the holy oracle you have called me. Um, but unfortunately the man is dead. Eh? Yes. But I will give you something. Okay. Ah, then China, sir. Here I come. Here I come. <laughs> okay, let me go and monitor the catechism class going on. Okay, okay, yeah? okay, okay. 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 Uh, uh, please pray for me. Oh. I will. I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Have you paid for your AMC card for your confession this year? Yes, Katskis, I paid them to you. You paid to me? Yes, sir. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, and you, have you paid for your yearly levy and your harvest levy? Yes. No, Katskis, I have it with me here. We have it with you? Yes. Sir. Come to the office with me. Eh? Whatever you do in life, remember God is watching all of us. Whoever you may be in life, remember God is watching all of us. He will judge every one of us. Oh, Chinasa, you are Totori. Very sweet. Oh, I love you. I wish it will continue like this. You're making me go sweet madness, Chinasa. Oh, I love you. My dear Chinasa. Oh. Oh. Papa Antonia. Papa Antonia. Who is disturbing me? Emily. What is it? So you came into my room for us to sleep and you're here dreaming of another woman? Me? Dream? Of another woman? What do you have with Chinasa? If I dreamt of that woman, that means I'm having malaria. Malaria? So it's malaria that is making you to be talking I'm going into sweet madness. Oh, Emilia, your husband is here dying of malaria and you're talking. Go to my room and bring Panadol, please. Sorry. Please, oh. Sorry. I had to go. Where do you say I should bring you In my room. Get my Panadol from my room. I wish it were real. Oh, Chinasa, I love you. Chinasa, Chinasa, I love you.
Mr. Wakama, uh, good morning, Prof. I wish the morning, afternoon, and evening will ever be good in this present disposition and phenomenon in this country. Prof, you are not happy. How can I be happy? When the rich are getting richer by the seconds at a very high rate, and the poor who voted them into power are getting poorer by the minutes. The poverty alleviation program is not alleviating anything. Nothing. I am walking to the seat of power. That is where I'm going right now. You want to walk to where? That is the condition the ruling class has put me. Imagine a prof like me living from hand to mouth after serving my country for 30 good years and dismissed vindictively because I'm a social crusader. I am going there to talk some sense into their head. Join in the rally. The mass action must take place. Come with me. Uh, 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 prof, I advise you to stay back. I will not. The political class has turned our constitution into a degenerate one. And as metaphysic philosopher Aristotle puts it, our society has become a degenerate one. The politicians have become polycast, jesters, and clowns. In our democracy, there's no official opposition. No. We are moving towards one party state. Is that not totalitarianism? Tyranny! Absolute dictatorship! Uh, yes, um, Prof. For the meantime, it is risky for you to walk all that way. Julius will be traveling next week. I'll ask him to take you along. For the meantime, let's go back to the house. Prof, Prof. <laughs> Welcome, ma. Yes. You are an honorable man. <laughs> and in this country, yes. honorable men do not last. Yes. Only the corrupt and criminal minded last. Yes. Look at the way they removed you from office, from your position as chairman of your parish council through their machination and scheming. Yes. Church and politics. Some pastors and clergymen have become voodooists, exorcists, sorcerers, and businessmen. Yes. Some churches have become Wall Street, World Trade Center, Bureau de Change, and Stock Exchange. Yes. Wasted generation. <laughs> Wasted generation. Prof, prof. You are a good analyst. <laughs> yes. I am a professor of humanities and social sciences. I lectured in the two faculties. I have my degrees in history, literary studies, political science, and anthropology, and philosophy. My research works have been in literary criticism, epistemology, political theories, cum political history, and many others. <laughs> pro, pro, <laughs> you are professor par essence. Oh, yes. Let me give you a... <laughs> what is really happening? Is it that all the commodities are finished or what? Or... Are they gummed at a place? If Solomon in the Bible could beat such record, I would beat his own record. If a human being like him could get to such record, I will beat his own record. Then, if he's handsome, I am more handsome than him.
سلمان سلمان Young lady, come here. Dear brother. What a hula baloo. What an incestuous dressing. Is this what you call fashion? Or this is part of the social change? You see, the high technological innovation in fashion has been characterized by abysmal nudity, cartel cross dressing, are epitomized by, 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 by sexual harassment. Do you know that you look like a nuclear weapon? Another supernova explosion ready to create other galaxies. Look at those missiles pointing at me, ready to clear the whole nation. You had better go and dress properly. This is an invitation to rape. Now, I will tear those dresses and you go real naked. Where's the tradition? I will tear those dresses. My cousin. Mm. Yeah, and um, my name is Raymond. Okay. We are from Iluama. Hey. Yeah. That's good. Um, I know him. Okay. I know him. Is this your wife? Yes, she is. Hey. Hey, wait. <laughs> She's a beautiful woman. Thank you. Very beautiful. Thank you. Oh no, go. Aquama, where did you jump? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like I told you, eh? 
I know I know his place. Okay. Uh, so I will just show you the way to that place. Okay. Eh? Would that be okay for you? I've divorced you. I said, keep quiet. Are you all right? Hey, what's the matter? Hey, you sure get on? Hey, John, what has come over you? Please, I love you. Love me? Oh, no, go. Oh, no, go. No. Can you hear me? Come on, come on, leave me. Help! Help! Please, no. I love you. Don't love me. Go, Take your love to the market. I love you, please. Shameless woman. You left your husband and two children. I want to another husband, wife, and children. Are you jealous? Oh, you are jealous. You are jealous because he has no time for you again. I don't even need him. You know you do. Because your scumbag is inching you. I need to be greased. He's rusted. Yet you can't have him. That's why all your body is failing you. <laughs> do you know what? He is the best man in this world. You want to see his style? Is it the monkey style? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you wasting your time on this frustrated woman? My it's frustrated! You are no. us! War or the Battle of Sumangum. If it is the Carthaginian War, then I will tell you that Dalinda S. Cartago, Carthage must be destroyed. This Carthaginian Empire you call Solomon Harem must be destroyed someday. Where is Hariba, you people of the Harem? And I will tell you. This Solomon's harem will be destroyed. I will call on Sondiata or Mansa Munsa or at worst the Moroccan invasion or the Amoravids to destroy this Solomon's harem. It is becoming cataclysmic and troublesome to this community socially and medically endemic to the whole country because of its disposition to spread HIV and AIDS. You are right for me. I love you. I love you. I love you. I will stop you. Please. I will stop you. Hold on. Hold on. I am trying to quell this second punic war you have created, and you are bringing in more concubines? Solomon! If the Third World War breaks out, not even Charles the Great or Charlie Men or the Sergius Tox will help you. Not even Askia the Great! It will not be long, and this terrible empire of yours will be destroyed. The empires of the early civilization fell. Even the Roman Empire, the Western Sudan Empire, the Songhai Empire, all fell. And this empire of yours will not be an exemption. It will go the same way. I take my leave, Solomon. <laughs>
Hi, to be me, you're back. Yes, I'm back. What's the distance from Abia State University, Uturu to Otamba? And where are you coming from dressed like this? I'm coming from your house. You are coming from my house dressed like this? Yes. Did my mother see you? No. She's not home. But I think she went to her country farm. But what's the problem with my dressing anyway? There is a big problem with your dressing. I mean, didn't people complain about it out there? It was only Prof that complained. Eh? If Prof complained, then the whole world has complained. I mean, you and I know he's the mouthpiece of the masses. That madman. He is not mad. But what? It's just that he has a little problem. Though it's not a serious mental problem. He knows what he talks about and he speaks the truth. His little problem is as the result of the way he was dismissed from the university without benefits. And then his wife who ran away to Finland with his three boys. So he lost everything. So frustration has made him mad, eh? Ure, prof is not mad. But what? Oh, -ho. is it because he talked to you about your seductive dressing? But I wore it for you, Dubem. What's your problem? That's the craziest thing I've heard. Eh? You dress like a hooker just to entice me or what? Dubem, why are you saying this? Look, let me warn you. If this is one of your mad fashion that is in vogue, I don't want to see it on you again. What's your problem? <sighs> People dress like prostitutes all in the name of trendy ways. Excuse me. Naremon, one is your monument. What exactly did you say happened? Obiuku. It is still like a dream to me. It is not a dream, it is reality. The same way you lost your wife to him was the same way I lost mine. Imagine two relations losing their wives to the same man. God forbid. If anybody had told me that a man like me would take my wife this way, I wouldn't have believed it. Raymond, let me tell you. This is not an ordinary thing. There is something behind this. What is behind it that the community cannot find the solution? Eh? Come to think of it, what will I tell my king that came in? Who will be in my village? And in Roma people in general. That I came to see my cousin and I lost my wife. I want to go and call the police. Hold on, Ramon. I don't think calling the police now will solve this problem. Because you end up wasting your time. The police are so used to Solomon's case. If you go there, they will ask you whether you were sleeping when you took your wife. And if they follow you to Solomon's house, they will ask your wife questions. And she will deny you. It has happened several times. And nothing came out of it. And you people still keep quiet. Does it mean he's stronger than the whole community? <laughs> now that Ijoma has run to him, if you go and force her out, Solomon will call the police for you. And they will charge you with kidnapping, which is a criminal offense. Of course, they will tell you to respect her fundamental human rights. Imagine the police. They call Solomon the strong man of Atampa. That doubt. Anyway. The whole thing is just that he's very close to the catechist of St. Luke's Catholic Church. He supports him. A cactus? Yes! This is unbelievable. I hope my ears will not tingle. If they tingle, I will lament them. That means this woman has some God for a woman backing him. Is his own going to be different from what is happening in this country? Are those Godfathers not the same people behind most atrocities committed in this country? They will never give democracy a chance. If you don't support them or have disagreement with them, they will sponsor your impeachment and make sure you don't become a stumbling block to their selfish ambition. And do you know what? They do these things unconstitutionally and nothing happens to them. Nothing! The same police they use to perpetrate their acts are the same police that is backing someone like Solomon. And they use the same police to win elections. Most of the times I ask, who really do the police work for? The interest of the very few in the government or the entire citizenry? Is the police really our friend? I don't think so. I don't think so. 
Do you know what I think? What do you think? I think Solomon represents a lot of public officials who acquire wealth that they will not use. And these wealth are acquired illegally. Just Solomon's women are just like the wealth. When people acquire illegally just the way Solomon's women are. Raymond, do you know you are a very good analyst? I have not thought about this. You know, a lot of things happen in our society these days because a lot of us are ungodly. If Solomon talks to any woman, she will follow him. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I blame myself. If my wife and I had prayed and anointed ourselves before leaving anywhere of Otampa, this would never have happened. But to be cool, since Solomon has touched me, the Lord's covenant child, he will never find peace. And abominations will never depart from his house. This is a strong prophecy. Anyway, let's go in to cool off your temper. But I told you I'll be coming to pay for it on, on Saturday. No, oh, don't worry. I've paid already. <laughs> okay, let me get the money. No, I said I've paid. Don't bother. We should be useful to one another. Oh, See, See, I, I don't Jesus do... Christ said, do good to others as you will them do to you. Love your neighbor as yourself. Eh? Keep it. Don't forget that you are a widow. Well, Catechist. I am a widow, but I am a widow with a difference because I am comfortable. Uh, In any case, um, uh, thank you very much. I'm grateful. Okay, I don't, don't yeah. mention. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Um, China, sir. Uh, yes, God, there is something I want to ask you. I hope we won't feel offended. Oh. But you are my cat, please. Ask, why should I be offended? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me ask you one thing. Eh? Since your husband Hillary died, don't you feel lonely? Well, yes, I I feel lonely sometimes, especially when I remember him. Good, and it is worse at night. It's at night that the loneliness is worse. Which is not true. Well, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just fine. I'm okay. Finasa, you can't be fine. Don't you feel 
the kind of lo loneliness. I don't get it at all. So is there no sweetness you're missing inside you? Sweetness? Yes. No, I don't feel any sweetness. Feel it. It's natural. You may be having roasted inside you. Listen to me, Patrice. I don't like this kind of language. I don't like it at all. I don't want to remarry. I want to stay with my children until God calls me. That is the promise I gave to my husband before he died. I still love him, even in death. You're a good woman. You need to be taken care of. No, Catkist. I don't need a man. Do you realize what you're asking me to do, Catkist? There is nothing wrong in what I'm talking about. See, a lot of widows who are Christian mothers do it. Let them go ahead and do it. Must I do it because they are doing it? I, I don't want to do it. Chinasa, do it. Think seriously of what I'm telling you. See, Chinasa, eh, I love you. This from point of fire. Uh, the, only, the only person who can throw me this malaria, pull it for me, please. Uh, help, uh, help me. If you don't damage for me, this is how we talk about that. Right? Give me just hope. Go! I will die. Fuckers! Fuckers! What are you doing here? Help! Help! Children, people. Mama, stay out of this. Stay out of this before you get hurt. Catskist, have you seen the way you have desecrated my faith? The first universal church that Christ established. Oh, if I say you are evil, it is an understatement. I heard everything you said. It is your lies that spoil the good name of our church. Jesus, a whole cat kissed, who in my mother, in my father's house. Please, oh, please, please. Will you shut up and kneel down? Kneel down. Hands up. Hands up. Hey. Oh, the same way Lucifer became Satan and deceived Eve with sweet words and brought about the fall of man. That is the same way you, God kissed, have come to deceive my mother and lead her to destruction. Fortunately for Satan, Adam was not around. But unfortunately for you, who are in partnership with the fallen angel, the princes of demons, the new lion of Judah has caught you red handed. And I say, Why do you? Love like Jesus! Please, my son. Please. Please. Give go. Now, get up. Get up! Okay. okay. And listen. If you want to stay alive, don't hesitate to do anything I ask you to do. And don't utter a word. Else, I will give you a hole in the head. And you'll be safer there. My son. Let him go. Let him go with his father. Mama, keep quiet, you the manipulated. And as for you, the manipulator, surely this bitterness of death is real. As you have destroyed other people's happiness, so shall your happiness be destroyed. Now, let me have the key to your motorcycle outside. And your bag? Now, move. Out! Where? Move, move, move! Move it! Hey! My motorcycle! Thieves! Thomas, will you keep quiet before I cut out your mouth? Oh! Yes, sir. You have broken my rules. I asked you not to talk, and here you are talking. Now, I am going to take you round the whole village, so that you will tell them with your mouth what you have called to my house to do. If you do not do that, I will not release your motorcycle. Now move! Move! Come, come, before that. Pull up. Pull it off. Hand it over to me. My son. Mama, stay away from this. Stay away from this, Mama. 
Dubey, what is it? Will you keep quiet? Move! 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 I said you move! Mama, leave me alone! Stay out of this! Move! 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 You are wicked! You are wicked! You are wicked! Move! Move! Come here! Huh? You put me into this! Shut up! Shut up! Did I ask you to talk? More punishment for you! Now we are going to go around the whole of Otamba and this Tukwato, huh? Yes! Uh, you better kill me. Oh no! You better kill me. I won't kill you! The Bible says, shed no blood! I will not kill you! You will kill yourself! Is that not that revolutionary leader holding the cutlass? Yes, sir. Let's meet him before he commits murder. Hey! Young leader, stop! The shame is too much for me! Oh! The shame is too much for me! Oh. Come back here! You think this is another joker in the park, eh? Okay. I hold four aces against you. I'll get you. I'll get you. Don't leave. Now. Bro. Do you want to kill him in cold blood? Do you want to commit felony? Do you want to commit red and blue murder? Do you want to kill him in cold blood? What did he do? What happened? Bro. That man. Please, Mama. I'm very sorry. How many people are you going to say me are sorry to? How many people? Do you know how many people saw you on the road? Do you know how many people came here to tell me that the girl my son wants to marry is walking about naked in the hotel? Huh? Mama, please, I will not treat you again. If you were a true child of God, you wouldn't have worn that kind of dress at all at all. Just thank your God that I did not see you, because I would have made sure you went home naked. <gasps> Can you just imagine the disgrace? I know my husband's case, man. Some of them saw you. If Chidibon had seen you... He saw me and got very angry. That's why I've come to beg him. <laughs> What went into you? What did you have in mind when you went to buy that kind of clothes? Eh? Why do you guess like to uh, put men into temptation? All those naked clothes you people wear, do they give glory to God? If your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit of the living God, why do you have to expose it for everybody to see? Why? Mama, please, it's enough. I've taken correction. No, it's not enough! It is not enough! Don't tell me. Don't you wear those naked pants you people call G-string or catapult? Is that pant at all? Something that will go into your anus as if you're not wearing anything when you wear very light material or, 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 or uh, your so-called hipster. Mama, please, I'll get my pants. You people have turned the hand of clock back, all in the grace for fashion. Some years ago, the pants will cover the buttocks. But nowadays, it is the buttocks that covers the pants. And you people say it is LD? Eh? I hope you don't have this bra you people call push-up that exposes the breast. You people should be careful. I am warning you, the Antichrist is here, and most of you are turning away from God. If you don't want to grow spiritually, I will not allow my son to marry you. I am forgiving you. Thank you very much, Mama. It's okay. Let me go and get you something. Just be careful. Yes, ma'am. Eh? <laughs> don't be carried away by useless fashion or anything that I don't know. Why you had a pregnancy? You are surely showing the hips and breasts! Please. 
please. Keep quiet. I won't keep him quiet. I thought you said it was an armed that attacked you. Yes. An armed robber attacked me. Liar! Shameless man! Have you seen the show you brought yourself and me? A whole cat kiss. Look at what that small boy did to you because of a woman. That is not a small boy, you. He is a full grown man. Hey! Shameless man, are you not ashamed of yourself? I'm surprised that you still have mouth to talk. I thought you said it was dream. So the dream is true. I told you that you have something to do with that woman, but you denied it and said it's malaria. Now the malaria is gone. What is in that woman that is not in me? It's the only star that you want that I don't give to you. Even one kiss time. Okay, okay. Have you given me wheelbarrow style? Oh, you see, you don't know it. The highest you have ever given me is tipper style. Tipper. Hey. What will the church members say about this? You see the problem? <laughs> now you are talking like your real wife. Eh? So, what, what do we do? <laughs> Quarreling will not solve this matter. I will quarrel. I will quarrel, Papa Antonio. I said I will quarrel. Shameless man. I've not even started. Okay. Since you're going out, go to the church and find out what is happening there. I hope this matter will not cause more serious problems. So you are afraid now? You are afraid now? You will use your hand to dig your grave and fall into it. Anyway, I'm going now. Are you still going to the church? Eh? Is that your business? That is not your business. I will now do whatever I like. Mm -hmm. See what Solomon has put me into. Huh? And the whole community must have heard about it. Never have look at them. No. Titus. Titus. I am dead. I am having pains all over my Oyora. The medicine I took last night has not worked. So you have come to tell me about your autonomy food while you have put me into serious problem. Hey, I saw you yesterday when that madman was carrying colors. And I ran like Philippides. He caught me with his mother, Kinasa. Away! Hey! And he didn't kill you. The Holy Ghost jumped into him. Otherwise, Titus would have been a dead man by now. See what you have caused for me. Ah, eh? What did I do? The touch and follow failed. Otherwise, Kinasa would have jumped on me before the song returned. Did you do what I asked you to do? Even saying Mburuyaya. I said it. Even two times. Eh? Titus, how many times? Mburuyaya. Yeah. I said it twice. Eh, wait. Titus, you spoiled it. Huh? It could have lifted you up and hit you on the ground. Look. You are very, very lucky. Oh, but you didn't tell me not to say it twice. And I thought that saying it twice would make the magic work better. Oh. Eh? And Kinasa would have jumped on me. Eh? Look at what, what you have caused for me now. Look at the disgrace now. Eh? Uh, anyway, um, let my wife return before I know what to do. Uh, well, that was... I've come to... Seek solution to this my good problem. What do I do? Just leave it like that. It will go on its own. I should leave it like that. Yes. Ah. In that case, um, let me go and see here and ask. Why? Oh, excuse me. Oh. Ah!
is the problem? There's no problem. I saw you dancing cocoa that no one is beating for you. And you screamed. I just remembered the dance. And the shouts. It's part of the dance. Solomon, have you gotten gonorrhea? I don't have gonorrhea. You are the one that has gonorrhea. Ah. <laughs> Go and get more commodities. Look at me, Grace. I'm waiting for you here. Let me tell you one thing. Before you touch me, that your hands. You will show me your HIV certificate. I will not touch you. And before I touch you, you will show me your that number. <laughs> commodities. Go and get them. I'm going to get out. <laughs> Look at her. Look at all the oh, oh, hey, look at all those rubbish around you. Are you sure the gonorrhea is not even hidden somewhere there? Go, no, go, go. That's it. Just get out. Oh, come on. I had to see you to deliberate on this matter before you step into the premises of the church. The parishioners are clamoring for your removal. But, Catechist, let me ask you Catechist, why did you do such a thing when you knew your position in the body of Christ? Are you condemning me? for responding to my bodily needs? What of you, Father John? Are you not the head of the body of Christ here? Yet you smuggle Sister Teresa into your bedroom like contraband, beating all customs checkpoint? You think I don't know? Okay, what of even Mrs. Veronica Ikweche? Don't you do totore with her? I know. Some of us are equally human. Cat I, I have blood running in my veins. Damn, they should give you people the option of marrying or not. Let me tell you, Father John, no matter what I have done, you have the power to stop anybody from removing me. It is not as easy as you think. If I do something on the contrary, the parishioners will start writing Dangerous petitions to the bishop, and you know the consequences. Then let's organize our own people to write to the bishop, absolving you and praising you even to the high heavens. Eh? Let's even make it political and not religious. Tell them I am the only competent person to handle this parish here, and that you have given me penance. Hmm? It might not be easy as that. I'm afraid that Look, if I... Don't be afraid. Don't, don't be afraid. See, find out those who are spearheading this my removal. Call them for a meeting and invite me to present my case. I am sure that once I talk with them, I will convince them. Eh? You are forgetting one important thing. That if I go, you will equally go. That is... Yeah? Are you threatening me? Yes, I am. And you had better do something before it is too late. Catkiss. What do I do about Wakama, the former parish council chairman? How do you mean? Wakama is the one spearheading and leading the rebellion. <laughs> Wakama. <laughs> Wakama. Then, let's silence him. You mean we should see his lips? Then what about the hands he uses to write his dangerous petitions? Father John, let's plot and kill him! That is! God forbid! That is I want to priest, I'm a Levite! You want me to be a murderer? If we don't kill Wakama, he will put two of us into trouble! That is I am going! Don't go! Until you say something. I get yourself going. You want me to be a murderer and a dumb priest of God and live I will not. Good. Then go. But bear in mind that once I go, you will equally go. 
Tabajong will equally go. Tabajong in his white cassock will also be dismissed. Yes. Dramatic truth, an absolute truth, a correspondent theory of truth. But this is not in consonance with what is happening now. Some people are economic with the truth. White appears to them as black. Is it a problem of perception or an epistemological problem of knowledge. No, I don't think so. Everybody is lying to himself. What is really happening to the religious bodies? The churches have been politicized. Their behaviors have become very unethical and are unacceptable to me. How can I be a member of their congregation when their churches are filled with filth, immorality, hypocrisy and moral decadence wasted generation oh. good day bro good day you have come at the right time to hear my messages to the churches my moral advocate what are you doing with this maiden whom i have seen in her tempest dressing trying to hold men captive in order to lead them to destruction. Prof, she's my fiance. She's your what? She's the girl I want to marry. That is catastrophic. Horrific and terrific. Square peg in round hole. I'm sorry, Prof. She has promised not to wear such dresses again and to be of good behavior. Prof, I'm very sorry. My son. You must change the society. I thank you for your sensitization and conscientism. Prof, I'm learning from you. You're the eyes of the society. But does the society respect my opinions and views? Well, history and posterity will remember people like you. Prof, you are the voice of the people. And the conscience of the nation. <laughs> As from this day, I declare you the new Martin Luther King. Long live the new Martin Luther King. You shall fight the apartheid in this nation. You shall fight the injustice in our country. You shall fight for the restoration of real democracy in this country. By the year 2020, you shall lead our country to the promised land. You shall lead our country to prosperity with economic advancement, with high per capita income. Long live the new Martin Luther King. Long live the new Martin Luther King. Long live the new Martin Luther King. <laughs> prof. Prof, thank you for the proclamation. Thank you, Prof. I actually brought Ure, my fiancé, to see you and then to help you out with some domestic chairs. I also gave her some money to buy things for you. Prof, 
What and what do you need in the house? And what kind of soup would you want me to cook for you? What? Well, this is the greatest astonishment and surprise of the period of renaissance. You see, even in a rotten society like us, with fake Christians, there are still some good Christians like you, my son. My boy, can you imagine that a whole catechist in this ecclesiastical province of ours commits adultery and nobody said anything, nothing is being done about it. Even though I am not a member of your congregation, I will petition the bishop. I don't mind walking to the Vatican and petition the Pope. That Reverend Father John is bringing bad reputation, bad image to the, one of the most respected denomination of Christendom. Prof, I, I, I respect your sense of morality. Yes, my son. You see, morality is the nucleus of social progression. That is why I am also a professor in ethics or moral philosophy. <laughs> prof, 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 with your permission, I proclaim you the Socrates of our time. <laughs> My son, you know about Socrates? The philosopher who lived centuries before Christ? The conscience of the Athenian nation? Ha! Huh. He was forced to take hemlock poison because of his teachings. But centuries after he has died, He's still respected and venerated after so many generations. Prof, I'm still waiting. On. Oh, the new Porsche in Prof's life. Let's get to business. Let me take you to my kitchen and uh, we can get <laughs> <laughs> Are you still sick? You haven't told me what is the problem. For how many days now? Look, no gospel. I am better. I am better. That mm. means you are now okay. I am not okay. I don't know who gave me... Who gave you what? You said you were sick. So you are here, Mukoso. You think you are the only one that likes the Oskomomo? No, I am not well. When we finish with you, you will be well. No, no, no. I'm missing you. You forgot to make it. Hey, what you're doing is not good. You. I know I'm the new one. No, I'm the new one. Hey! Oh, open you me. You know I'm the new and quiet one. I sit Please, please, please allow me to enjoy cake and bags. After all, we are the old one. Eh, the old one is sweeter. Oh, Monica, you know you, you are too. Oh, you push your old one. Now let's do it one by one. Oh, you push your old one. Let's take it one after the other. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Emily, though I am in the village, but I have class and I respect myself. Respect? Which respect? Which widow in Otamba has respect? Are your beds not football field? If your sister's bed is football field, my own is not and can never be. You should be ashamed of yourself for coming to this place in the first place. After all your shameless husband did. Eh, my shameless husband. Is he not your boyfriend? Every time he'll be dreaming about you, calling your name. I think both of you are sick. Sick in the head. If I were you, I will cover myself in shame. I will dig up the ground and put myself inside it. 
in shame. Shame on you. For what you did, I will sue you. will not do anything. You are dead and you think you are still alive. Thank God they have removed you from being the treasurer. Beggars have called themselves Christians. The basket has covered you crooks. Chinasa, this town will not contain both of us. You will be the first to leave. You will be the first to After you are from this town, you are from Mumba. How can a dry fish like you intimidate me? I may be a widow, but nobody can intimidate me, no matter who. I am the lioness of the tribe of Judah. Bet me if I don't show you. You will not do anything. You are just a barking dog that cannot bite. Uh, yes! Will you get yourself out of this compound? Get yourself out of this, you unbeliever, infidel. Hey. Mama. Yes. What is it? Is it not this, this hungry looking squirrel that came into this compound to, to warn me? Mama Antonia, what is it? If you think your head is hot, just touch me! Touch me! I am sure you must have heard what I did to your husband. Uh -huh. Now, if you don't get out of here, I'm going to do worse things to you. You cannot do anything! Just touch me! No, anyway, my children will soon come back from school. I am waiting for them! Useless woman, get out of here! Don't touch her. She's not alive. Look at her. Her husband has sucked her dry. Look at her. If she wants somebody that will kill her, you will not kill her. Let her go! Madam, go! Go to your husband's house now. Go, go without trouble. Hey, Bonga fish. Mama. Infidels. Unbelievers. Pagans. How can go. they who raise responsible children? How can they? Hey. A snake will always beget a snake. All of them. My society is in trouble. God will deliver us. Hey. God will deliver us. They will not let me rest. Is it a crime to be a Christian? I will remain a Christian and I will fight for Christianity. Papa Antonia, have you had the news? What news? That I have been removed as the treasurer of the Catholic Men Organization, St. Luke's or Tampa. Who did that? Are you not the cause of everything? Are you not the one? Thank God you have been removed as well. What, what did you say? I said you have been removed, Mr. Cat Keys. By whom? By the new parish priest. Father Francis, Father John has been removed too. It is just not true. Eh? It's very impossible. It is possible. It has happened. Father John was investigated by the bishop and sent packing. Dismissed as a priest. The goat has eaten my yam Mmm. Eh? Have you seen what your daughter has brought to us? Hey. I thought the hearing as you said that nobody could remove me until I decide to leave. Oh, Mwakama and his group have succeeded. Huh? If only Father John had listened to me. Helen. Yes, Papa. You said that you people have closed from school. But I have not seen your result. Papa, university is not like secondary school. The second semester has just ended. Huh? Helen! I sent you to school to go and learn. And you went there to go and see Semestina. You even went there two times. Papa, that is the university system. In three weeks' time, I will go and check my results. Oh. Okay, well, I hope you will take first position. There's nothing like that, but I'll do my best. You better do your best. Okay, Papa. You better. Papa, uh -huh. there is something I would like to ask you. Ask me, Helima. Ask me. These women I saw when I came back, who are they? <laughs> they are mine. All of them are mine. Are they your wives or are they? They are my wives and my concubines. 
just like King Solomon in the Bible. I am going to beat his record. Papa, yes. I can't believe this. The earlier you start believing it, the better for you and the longer your life would be. <laughs> Look, Heliwa. You should be happy that your father is a king and you are the princess. But Papa, what do you acquire them for? Will you shut up? Or you want to know what a man and a woman do? Come, Helen. It's like you have started doing something, uh, I mean, something that you are not supposed to do. Papa, they are too much. Shut up! I am not complaining. I am your part of the task. You see, those women you see there are my commodities. Including my own mother, Papa. Of course! She is my first commodity. Though she's an old commodity. Papa. Yes? I can't bear this any longer. If you like, cry like rabbit. <laughs> in the next three months, King Solomon in the Bible will take second position. And I, King Solomon of Otangba, will take first position. <laughs> Oh, Helen, you're a little girl. <laughs> hey, Grace! Grace! Whatever you do in life, remember God is watching all of us. You see all of us. All of us. Whoever you may be. Catkist, come back here. Come back. Catkist, I have brought back your motorcycle for you. And I have made you to cease to be the Catkist. So if I see you anywhere near my mother again, I'm going to bring you a coffin from Hong Kong. And you'll be made to lay among the lilies. Here is your key. It's a promise. <laughs> <laughs> 